Welcome back, everybody. It's time for chapter six of the book of Proverbs. Here we go. Chapter six of Proverbs, verse one reads, My son, if thou be surety uh, for thy friend, if thou hast stricken thy hand with a stranger. Verse two, thou art snared with the words of thy mouth. Thou art taken with the words of thy mouth. Amen. Praise God. Proverbs chapter 3. Do this now, my son, and deliver thy thyself when thou art come into the hand of thy friend. Go, humble yourself, and make sure thy friend Verse number four. Give not sleep to thine eyes, nor slumber to thy eyelids. Verse number five. Deliver thyself as a roe from the hand of the hunter and as a bird from the hand of the fowler. Verse number six. Go to the end. Thou sluggard, consider her ways and be wise. Verse number seven. Which having no guide, overseer, or rule. Verse number eight. Provideth her meat in the summer and gathereth her food in the harvest. Number nine. How long wilt thou sleep, O sluggard? When wilt thou arise out of thy sleep? Wake up! Stop sleeping. It's daytime. You shouldn't be sleeping. Sleep at night. Get up and do something. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Verse number 10. Yet a little sleep, a little slumber, little folding of the hands to sleep verse number 11 so shall thou poverty come as one that traveleth and thy want as an armed man amen praise god it's good to have knowledge wisdom and understanding amen because you need it in this life praise god Number 12, a naughty person, a wicked man, walketh with a froward mouth. They sure do. Verse number 13, he winketh with his eyes. He speaketh with his feet. He teaches with his fingers. Whoa, bro. Praise God. Chapter four, I mean, verse 14. Frowardness is in his heart. He does this devises mischief continually. He soweth discord. 15. Therefore shall his calamity come suddenly. Suddenly shall he be broken without remedy. Mm, 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 mm. Poor guy. Verse 16, these six things doeth the Lord hate, yea, seven, count them, one, two, three, four, five, six, five, six, seven, <laughs> amen, seven are in abomination unto him, amen, verse 17, a proud look. A lying tongue and hands that shed innocent blood. 18. A heart that devises wicked in my. Slow down, Tim. A heart that devises wicked imaginations 
feet that be swift in running to mischief. Verse number 19, a false witness that speaketh lies, and he that showeth, soweth discord among brethren. Mm. It's deep, bro. It's deep. Verse number 20. My son, keep thy father's commandments and forsake not the law of thy mother. You better be obedient and listen to your parents, brother. <laughs> oh, my son, don't you do it. You better listen to me and your mother <laughs> thank you jesus it's it's good to have fun in the lord you know because when you have fun in the lord that means you're happy god wants you to be happy he doesn't want you to be sad be all what was me and all that old junk you better be happy the bible tells us if you want joy you better leap for it amen Jump for Jehovah. I thought I told you. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Verse number 21. Bind them continually upon thine heart and tie them around thy neck. Amen. Talking about the law. Talking about the words of the Bible. God's word. Amen. Instructions. Wisdom. Understanding. All of that. Amen. You better keep it close at hand when you need it. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Verse number 22. Praise Jesus. When thou goest, it shall lead thee. When thou sleepest, it shall keep thee. And when thou awake, it shall talk with thee. Amen. Verse number 23. For the commandment is a lamp and the law is light and reproofs of instruction are thy way of life. It's a way of life, bruh. Better listen. Pay attention. Praise the Lord. Verse number 24. To keep thee from the evil woman from the flattering of the tongue of a strange woman. 25. Lust not after her beauty in thine heart, neither let her take thee with her eyelids. Don't let her do it, man. Make you fall. Verse number 26. For by means of a whorish woman, a man is brought to peace of to pee to a piece of bread and the adulteress will hunt for the precious life mm, 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 mm. don't get caught up bro verse 27 can a man take fire in his bosom and his clothes not be burnt can it can it happen? Or verse twenty eight? Can one go upon hot coals and his feet not be burned? Verse twenty nine. So he that goeth into his neighbor's wife, whosoever touches her, shall be in it not be innocent shall not be innocent so don't you do it don't you be going over there to your best friend's house while his wife is there you get caught up It'd be like david running out of there don't you do it i'm telling you take heed to these instructions so you can get some knowledge wisdom and understanding Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God is good. Verse number 30. Men do not despise a thief. If he steal, 
to satisfy his soul when he is hungry. Mm, 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 mm. Don't despise a thief. Don't you do it. Don't you be like the world. Go out there just thieving, stealing from the folks, from the store. Mm, 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 mm. Number 31. But if he be found, he shall restore seven, sevenfold. Amen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, sevenfold. He shall give all the substance of his house. Mm, 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 mm. That's why you shouldn't be stealing, bro. It's not right. Thou shall not steal. It's one of the commandments. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Verse number 32. Amen. But whoso committeth adultery with a woman lacketh understanding. He that doeth it destroyeth his own soul. Like I said before, man, don't you do it. Better stick to your own wife. Or if you don't got a wife, you better stay up out of there. You be like, you be like David just running up out of there. Amen. If you're married, stay out of that woman's house. What you need to be over there for? You got a wife. Thank you, Jesus. Verse number 33. A wound, a dishonor, and a wound and dishonor shall he get, and his reproach shall not be wiped away. 34. For jealousy is the rage of a man. Therefore, he will not spare in the day of vengeance. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. That's verse 34. Verse number 35. He will not regard any but he will not regard any ransom, neither will he rest he rests content through thou giveth, though thou giveth him many gifts. Amen. I just read to you the book of Proverbs, chapter 6, verses 1 through 35. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading, to the hearing, and most of all the doing of his words. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. If you need to go ahead and go ahead and press that like. Amen. If you like my video, leave a comment. Subscribe. Amen. Tell me what you think. Praise Jesus. And until next time, keep cool and get in Jesus' face.